This is how I think the 2024 NFL Draft will go down. All right, so this is right here, one through eight right here. Number one, we've got Caleb Williams. It's, it's kind of, I mean, I'm not even going to spend time right here on this one because it's too obvious right here. Like, Caleb Williams is going number one, no debate. No debate. Number two is Jaden Daniels. Again, no debate. Second best quarterback. Second best quarterback is what I'll say in this draft. Like, he's not, he's not going outside the top two. Drake made it number three. Again, the Patriots getting a new quarterback. They actually have been, um, teams have actually offered them for the number three overall pick, but nobody, but nobody, I guess, has made a good enough offer, or they just haven't, they just haven't accepted it. Number four, Marvin Harrison Jr. This one, like, I mean, I'm 99% sure this one's going to happen, but I could easily see I got like neighbors potentially going, going there. Actually, um, or maybe like the Titans, for example, training up to get him because they apparently love Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, I think literally everyone does, but the Titans, uh, we'll get to them by in a second. But number five is going to be our only trade of the video. The Vikings will make a trade for the number fifth, for the number five overall pick, and they will send the number 20, 11 and 23 picks to the Chargers so they can select J.J. McCarthy from Michigan. Now, personally, I'm not going to lie, I don't like McCarthy. See, he's a winner though, and he's accurate. But I don't like his NFL skill set. I just don't know. I don't know if this is going to be great or not for them. We'll see though. Number six, Malik Neighbors. There has been some character issues, and I'm afraid also about little, also about work ethic also for him. But he's very talented, is what I'll say. Um, I think Neighbors is, I think Neighbors is good, but I'm worried a little bit about his character as well. Number seven is Joe Alt. Again, Titans in the offensive line. They're going to take off. I'm a t I'll say it now. I'm a Titans fan, personally. We need offensive line by tonight. If we don't take offensive line tonight, I'm actually going to get mad. Apparently. Actually, if we don't take at least an offensive tackle or a wide receiver, I'm not. I'm going to get mad. Like, I'm actually going to get mad. And number eight, Dallas Turner. Again, him and Jared Versch are like tied or not like the best defensive end. So I just decided to go. Um, me, personally, I think it's Turner. I don't know. That's just me. Now we got 9 through 16. So with the Bears' second first-round pick, they will take a defensive end by Jared Verse. Um, they could have right here taken like offensive line, but they're not going to do that in my opinion. I think they'll take the defensive end if he's still there. Number 10 is going to be Brock Bowers from Georgia. Um, I think Bowers is probably a top-five prospect, I'd say, in this draft. Uh, the Jets also might take offensive line, but um, I, don't know. I don't know how many offensive linemen will be there for them I think I think probably besides Joe Walt but we'll see um, number 11 from the trade uh, this is only by the way this is the only trade I actually have in the video because I don't know how many trades are actually gonna happen like but I think this one will actually happen I mean, in uh, tonight um, we're like two and a half hours back from the NFL draft but number 11 is gonna be Rome or Dunze for the Chargers they lost Mike Williams and Keenan Allen so I think this is a perfect fit for the Chargers uh, number 12 from 12 this is going to be the broncos they will take michael Penix jr the quarterback from washington this is going to this is a big one right here because michael Penix, uh broncos need a quarterback badly is what i'll say i think they will take one tonight but i don't think they'll trade up because i don't think there's really a point to for them Number 13, uh, Raiders, they need offensive line really bad. They also need a quarterback, but we're not going to go with that. We're going to have him take an O.I. Fashanu from Penn State. Probably the second best offensive tackle, I'd say, in this draft. Um, so I think this is a really good pickup for the Raiders. Number 14, we're going to go with Leitu Latu from UCLA. A great edge rusher. Probably the number three, I'd say, edge rusher, I'd say, in this draft. Um, a lot of injury concerns, though. So... I'm not sure. And this one right here, like, when I'm, like, looking back on it, it, I probably made here a mistake. So, but it, it'll be fine. I mean, honestly, I don't even hate it. It's Terry and Arnold. I could have easily gone with Quinion Mitchell because uh, I think Mitchell is the best corner. But I think the Colts will take Terry and Arnold just for, just for a reason. I just have a, I just have, I just have that feeling that they'll take him. Number 16, we're going to go. Oh, Tyrese Fongu, the third offensive tackle in this draft. He is from Oregon State, and the Seahawks need offensive line, so I think they'll take him. Now we got here 17 through 24. 
Number 17 is Quinion Mitchell from Toledo. I think the best corner in this draft. Uh, very tall. He can play man coverage good. And very good zone coverage. I think this is the best corner that's in the draft. If the Jags somehow get him at 17, that would be insane. I don't know if he'll fall that far. But that's where I have him. Number 18, I don't know if again this is too high. Byron Murphy from Texas. I feel like this again might be too high currently for him. I feel like he might go like 20, 22, somewhere right in that range. Maybe to the Dolphins at 21, but we'll see what ends up happening. I feel like this next one right here is way too low, I feel like. Fatanu from Washington. I am going to 19 with the Rams. If the Rams got him, like that's a steal. That's a good steal right there. Number 20 is J.C. Latham from Alabama. Um, don't really know really much about Latham is what I'll say. Um, obviously, tackle from Alabama, but sometimes offense tackles from Alabama sometimes don't pan out, I'll say, in the NFL. And then this one right here. If this somehow right here happens, Xavier Worthy to the Miami Dolphins, bruh, the Dolphins are literally going to have the fastest wide receiver core in the NFL, and it's like not even going to be close. Oh, my God. That, that's, just, that's just disgusting. Number, number twenty-two. I think is the, I think is gonna be one of the biggest steals that's in the draft is Cooper DeGene from Iowa going to the Eagles. Of course, of course I have him. Of course going to the Eagles. I mean the Eagles will always get steals in the draft. And first of all, Cooper DeGene is like a top fifteen prospect, is what I'll say. And I and he's going for like twenty-five to twenty-eight right now. I think I think team because he got injured. I feel like teams are gonna back off a little bit him. But I think this is still a solid right here pick right here for the Eagles. Still a good pick. I love this pick right here for the Eagles. Let's just hope right here he can stay healthy throughout his career. Number 23, I have Nate Wiggins from Clemson. Solid corner. Again, I think he's like I'd say the fourth corner I'd say in the draft. I'm not like there's some good corners I'll say in this draft, but um Nate Wiggins tall, but I think he also did also injure himself also during the combine. And finally, number and uh, number 24 is Amari Mims from Georgia. Unfortunately, with Mims, he would probably be higher, but he's only played eight games in college. And so that is a problem right there for most NFL scouts. To say Because I'll say this for now, like, this is why Anthony Richardson probably didn't get picked number one, because he only started 13 games and he did not have that great of a production in college, in my opinion. Um, but I don't really know really much again about Mims and the offensive tackles, but I think this is right here going to be a solider here pick. Here for the Cowboys so uh yeah now we got 25 through 32 number 25 I have I think a guy that honestly was a top 20 talent but because of an injury I think he's now dropping and that is Kool-Aid McKinstry from Alabama uh I feel so bad I gotta admit bro from McKinstry he was definitely the number one corner um at the start of this year but unfortunately a broken bone only in his foot I'm pretty sure he yeah now his draft stock now has fallen to almost out of the first round, and actually for some people out of the first round. In my opinion, he's not out of the first round. I think he's still going late, but that's still very concerning though. Number twenty six, the Buccaneers. They will take Graham Barton from Duke. I think Barton's a good talent, Lee right here. Um, again, just another interior lineman, right here. That's I think this is a good pick right here, um, up for the Buccaneers. Number 27, I've got Jazar Newton from the Cardinals. I think this is another solid pick right here. I think Newton, honestly, is top 20 prospect to this draft. But, again, um, uh, like I, th I think he's also had some injuries, I'm pretty sure, in college. So, that's a little bit of a problem. Number 28, this is right here a pick that I think could actually happen when they down here. Like, obviously, this is my mock draft, but I think this is one that's almost, like, guaranteed pretty much to happen. That's Brian Thomas Jr. going to the Bills at 28. Brian Thomas Jr. is, I think, one of the best wide receivers in this class. But the problem is, he hasn't had that chance really yet to, um, like, because he was he was with Neighbors, apparently, who we've already talked about earlier in the video, apparently, who's going to obviously go in the top eight. Uh, number 29, we've got, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Chop Robinson. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they have him as Demean Robinson. Uh, uh, Demean Robinson? I don't know. But, yeah, he's going to the Lions. Um, another right here, great pick right here. Um, I think this is a good pickup right here for the Lions. Number, tw 
Number 30, we got the Ravens. They're going to go with Tyler Guyton from, from Oklahoma. Another offense tackle again from Oklahoma. Oklahoma offensive tackles are normally pretty good in the NFL, so the Ravens probably here get a, a good steal. Number 31, we're going to go with Jackson Powers Johnson from Oregon. Again, I don't know again much again about this guy. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't watch much watch a lot of Pac-12 football I mean, to know about this guy. Um, and the final pick is going to be number 32 to the Kansas City Chiefs, A.D. Mitchell. Again, they're taking a wide receiver. I don't know which one, but they're going to take one. Anyway, guys, that'll finish now. Wrap up my NFL mock draft. So if you guys did enjoy, then make sure right here to click a video. That's going to be right here. And I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.